Blythe girl, brown girl. Sun that makes apples stiffens the wheat, made your body with joy. Tongue like a red bird dancing on ivory. You stretch your arms, the sun grabs at your hair like water was falling. Tantalize the sun if you dare. It will leave shadows that match you everywhere. Live girl, brown girl, nothing draws me towards you. The heat within you beats me home like the sun at high noon. Perhaps through knowing these things, I seek you out, listening for your voice, or the brush of your arms against wheat, or your step among poppies grown underwater. Live girl, brown girl. the day's end falls into your eyes, the earth starts singing in your body as the waves sing in a white shell. And the rivers sing within you, and I flow outwards on them as you direct them, whither you make them run. I follow for you like a hare running reared upright to the hunter's drum. You turn about me like a belt of clouds. Your silence, though it is stupid, mocks the hours I lay troubled by nothing. Your arms, translucent stones, wherein I lie exhausted, and future kisses die. Last, your mysterious voice folds close echoes that shift throughout the night, much as the wind that moves darkly over the profitable fields folds down the wheat for all its height. Sometimes it's like you're dead when you say nothing, or you heard things I say and couldn't be bothered to reply, and your eyes sometimes move outside of you watching the two of us. Yes, as if after you turn towards the wall, somebody's kisses stopped your mouth. taste of land on our lips 
eyelids all sticky. And we longed for lime and the sound of a rope lowering a bucket down its well. Then came we by night to the fortunate isles and lay like fish under the net of our kisses. by moon and midnight. Slatted moon is notched into the pine's bark. Pines used as masts are varnished by the level moon. Sails like enormous flakes of rust. A bird hovering, hovering close to the bollards. Your mouth is loose and wet and my mouth covers it like a rag, dryly. Bells talk. The sun struggles to rise. It is hard and rising. Silly is the moon. Birds drown. Breath smells. No matter how hard you scream, the birds are dead. Masts will not curve, nor the pines bark fall across your lime white throat delicately. And if our body shouted out with both its voices, there is not breath enough to fill even the smallest sail. So, you may as well sleep here. One of this poor love's twins who gasp around their four-armed cradle, where birds are strangled by the woman's hair. And the man blames her. trap shadows like this, think like this, and what? You set birds free, you bury lights, break images, hook sun, strain seas, shoe running horses, ride them down a sword's edge, run, open mouth through the streaming mist, hands out, beating a drum as you leap stones, trees, deep holes. You are an alien, changed, an alien. Hush, someone is on the stair. Listen, who calls? Who runs out there? Stop! Stop! Can shadows talk? Stop! Time passed and no one calls. Why am I rocked then? Why? Now gay, now melancholy. Now where you are, now not, now with and now without, but never still. Some bird will turn me into stone. What's that you say? Say no. When you say no, your tongue is like a small red bitch barking in a box. When you say yes, a wren flies out and builds its nest in the skull of a dead horse. But you are gone. Only the smell of you stays in the room. The wind cannot force it out. Hush, someone is on the stair. Listen, who calls? Who runs out there? <laughs> Tonight, I write sadly. Right, for example? Little grasshopper, shelter from the midnight frost in the scarecrow's sleeve, and rising myself. The night wind throbs in the sky. Tonight, 
I write so wearily. Write, for example, I wanted her, and at times it was me she wanted. Write, the rain we watched last fall. Has it fallen this year too? She wanted me, and at times it was her I wanted. Yet, it is gone that want. What's more, I do not care. It is more terrible than my despair over losing her. The night, always vast, grows enormous without her. And my comforter's tongue talking about her is a red fox barred by ivory. Well, does it matter I love too weak to keep her? The night ignores such trivial disputes. She is not here. That's all. Far off, someone is singing. And if to bring her back, I look and I run to the end of the road and I shout, shout her name. My voice comes back the same, but weaker. This night is the same night. It whitens the same tree, casts the same shadows. It is as dark, as long, as deep, and as endurable as any other night. It's true. I don't want her, but perhaps I want her. Love's not so brief that I forget her, so. Nevertheless, I shall forget her, and, alas, as if by accident. A day will pass in which I shall not think about her even once. And this, the last line I shall write her.